Okay, so what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. All that good stuff. So for today's video, as y'all can tell in the title below, today I will be showing y'all how I dye my hair this burnt orange color. Now I just call this color orange cause it just look orange, but it's actually like a burnt orange. Like you don't want you like get in the light or whatever. So I'm looking a little bit rough right now cause I got this cap on. I don't need y'all seeing my head when it's not done. And I got these gloves on. So we pretty much finna be getting started. This is gonna be a short little simple video. So I'm just finna show y'all my process of bleaching my hair and dyeing it and achieving this orange color that I get. So I wouldn't call this a tutorial nut like that because look, <laughs> Bleaching your hair is dangerous and dyeing it is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So everybody bleaches and dyes their hair different ways. I don't know if it's a specific way or whatever, but don't follow after me because I don't need y'all saying, yeah, I watch this stuff in my hair dimension now. No. So this is just the way I do my shit. Y'all gotta do y'all shit like this. So yeah, pretty much we finna get started. Video ain't gonna be long. So make sure y'all like, Ooh. subscribe, and do all that good stuff. So let's get this thing started. What I use right here, my bad y'all. It's the BW2 Clairol Extra Strength. And you don't really need extra strength to do orange because orange is like, you know, a color that'll take whatever. So um, I just do extra strength because the lighter, the, when it comes to bleaching hair, the lighter the hair, the better result you get of like the color you're going for, whatever. So this is the bleach I use, and this was like, you can get this offline or you can get it at like your local, local beauty supplier. So I got that for $10 at my local beauty supplier. Um, you're just gonna need like a mixing bowl and like a mixing utensil. Mixing utensil, like a spoon, a fork, or an applicator, so yeah. Okay, so you guys, time to start this process. Um, so pretty much, you see I have, um, you see I have petroleum jelly, I'm sorry. Basically, the petroleum jelly is going to serve as protection for our skin, so the bleach doesn't, you know, seep in to our skin. We only want it to um, get the hair, obviously. So you see, I'm applying it all around my edge line. Um, I'm gonna start applying it to the sides um, and also all over my ears because bleach seems to get on my ears and always burns. So yeah, the petroleum jelly you wanna use to serve as a protection for your skin, pretty much. Okay, you guys, so pretty much right here what I'm doing is mixing the contents. This is a mixture of the powdered bleach, the bucket I just showed y'all, and a 40 solution. So you just want to mix it until you get a cake battery consistency, not too thick, not too um, liquidy. So right now, I'm just, you know, applying it on my head as such. Y'all, excuse my little Molly made gloves. It's just... I didn't have no regular gloves and I was basically too lazy to go to the dollar store and buy some. Um, so I just got my little Molly made gloves on. Um, yeah, so pretty much I'm just applying it to my head as such. Um, I just use my hands because my hair is short and you know, it's not like I have long hair and I have to get through like creases and crevices. So I just slap that shit on with my fingers and as you can see, I'm just going in with the comb to um, get it in my edge, pretty much. Pretty soon, I y'all excuse the faces I be making. Like the bleach was smelling real nasty. That's why you see me making faces. So right now, I'm just going in with the comb and slapping it on my head, combing it through my hair. Um. Yeah, pretty much. It's not really hard applying bleach to short hair. It's just, you know, what you see is what you get. So I'm just going to go all around my head with this, and we're going to be done. Um, So pretty much, I got it all over my head. 
Um, I let this sit on there for 30 to 35 minutes just so it can really saturate my hair. I wrapped it up in a little Walmart plastic bag and I let it sit. Then I washed it out with just some like regular shampoo. Um, so, ooh. So now if you look at me, I went to the barbershop. I got a little haircut, a little design or whatever. Pretty much for myself. Um, so now what we're going to do is throw the dye on there. I use French Cognac by Adore. It's a little $4 at the home grocery. Not grocery store, excuse me. My local beauty supply store. Then I go in with the Cream of Nature Argan Oil as a conditioner for the color. So I put the dye on there. Then I slap a little bit, like a dime size of the conditioner. So what the conditioner does for the color is it basically serves as like, you know, a protectant from the sun. Because if you're in the sun a lot or, you know, a lot of light is hitting the color, it's going to fade the color. So as you can see, I'm just slapping that shit on there any kind of way. Um, I have short hair, so I can just... This is really, really short. So basically, I'm just slapping it on there. Y'all, I had to get real, real ghetto and creative because I ran out of gloves. I threw the little Molly May gloves away because they just wasn't working. So I got me a little plastic bag and I just proceeded to start um, applying the color as such. Um, for me, it's a struggle with the back of my head because the way I get my hair cut is like, you know, it's like a fade. So if y'all know what a fade is, as you can see, it's like bald all the, all the way down there. But at the top, you still got some hair. I can't see the back of my head like that. So, um, basically I just apply it. And then later on, once I'm done applying, I get a mirror, a small mirror, um, to see the back of my head and if I'm missing any spots or there's any patches, I just go ahead and um, correct it. So, yeah, pretty much. Nothing much to it. Just slapping a eye on there. That's really it. Okay, so pretty much I let that color sit on there for like, um... 25 to 30 minutes and this is what we have as a result um i like it i really like it i've been having this color for going on a year probably and this is what it looks like all around so now what i'm about to do is apply this soap uh sulfur a is basically a medicated um hair product um, my scalp gets really, really dry. I get really, really bad dry scalp. So I use this medicated sulfur A. And plus, it just smells good to me for some reason. So I'm just applying that all over my scalp as um, protection. Just, you know. Because my scalp gets so dry and bad, I use this and I apply it all over my head. Now what you see me do, what you see me doing now is I have a little um, Q-tip and I'm applying it in like the part where my design is. We ain't leaving no spots out. We getting everything today. My hair looking shiny as hell. Do y'all see that? So now um, what I'm going to do now is go in with my sporting waves. This is like two or three dollars at a little dollar store or Walmart. Um, I'm not trying to get waves. I just like the way that this product lays my hair down. Um, yeah, pretty much. You know, everybody got waves now. I don't want waves. So I just apply a little bit of that because it lays my hair down really good. I just like the way my hair looks when it's laid down. Um, Pretty much, you're going to start seeing a little bit of waves forming because my hair is naturally wavy, if that makes sense. Not intense waves, but my hair is naturally, like, wavy. Like, I don't know. So, I apply um, some of that. As you can see, my wave... Uh, as you can see, my hair is starting to wave up just a little bit, but not a lot. Because, as I said before, I only use this... 
just because I like the way it lays my hair down. So I'm gonna brush that in for a little bit. Y'all sleeping y'all like a bad bitch, period. So gonna brush that in for a little bit and pretty much we gonna be done. Okay, so y'all, this is pretty much um the finished product. As y'all can see earlier, I just um I just threw a little bit of like it looks red under like certain lighting, but it's actually orange. Don't try me. But yeah, pretty much that's pretty it for this pretty much it for this video. Um if y'all liked it, give it a thumbs up, heart it, do all that good stuff, comment. Hey, Die like nobody dies short hair, short hair like mine. So I always had trouble trying to find like tutorials on try to dye like short hair. So hopefully I'm the first one. Ooh. And if I am the first one, give me my credit. Thanks. But yeah, so make sure I like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I will see y'all at the next video. <laughs>